Hey, uh, found something interesting today I wanted to share with you guys. One of the things we do uh, during the inspection process is we, uh, we check for cracks on cylinder heads and blocks and so forth. If we have a cast iron block um, or a set of cast iron cylinder heads, what we do is we use a process called magnafluxing. Now what magnafluxing does is it uses an electromagnet and um, magnetic powder. We've got this little um, container here and it's, it's, I don't know, it's like a turkey baster, only it's got uh, some small holes here and we have magnetic powder in here. And we can use this to sprinkle the powder on the area of the block or the head that we're magnifying. And we found a head today that had a little bit of a problem, and so I want to show you how we magnifix this. If you'll get up here on this head, Dan, we'll take a look at this. This is our magnet, an electromagnet, and what, what we do when we mag is we want to go diagonally this way, and we also want to take a second shot at this diagonally in this direction. And the reason we go diagonally one way and then we go back and go diagonally the other way is that if the crack is in line with this magnet, it's not going to show up. It has to be, uh, it cannot be parallel with the magnetic field. So we're just going to go ahead and magnaflux this here. Don't see anything there, it looks pretty good. If, a, if there's a crack here, it's going to show up. So we'll We'll take a look at this side here. We'll sprinkle that mag powder all over that thing. And if you look there, ooh, we got a little bit of a problem here. Let's take a look at that. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can see that crack there. This is our exhaust combustion chamber. And we've also got a crack right here or the bolt hole, which is not that unusual. Sometimes if they crack here, we'll actually bore this out and press a sleeve in there. But unfortunately, this is cracked from the seat, and this, has, this is a truck head, so it actually has a hardened seat in here, so the crack goes underneath the hardened seat that's coming out over onto the deck. Now this head is, is pretty much junk. Um, you could have this head welded. They literally go in and cut that area out and they fill it in with nickel rod. The problem is, is having that area welded on this head is usually more expensive than it costs just to buy another core head. You can usually buy a Chevrolet small block core head, which is what this is for you know, 30, 40 bucks uh, at the core yard. So to get that head welded, you're probably looking at 150 to 200 dollars. In some cases, it is feasible to get it welded. If you're working on a cylinder head that is off of something rare, like an old flat head or something where you can't find the head, uh, it is viable to get the head uh, furnace welded. When they furnace weld it, they actually heat the head up till it's glowing red. They hit it with nickel rod and let it cool off very slowly. But that's magnafluxing. Very, very critical that everything is magnafluxed. If we had skipped that step on this head, uh, went ahead and done the machine work on it, we would have never found that crack. And the customer or you or whoever is working on the job puts it back on their car and the oil pan fills up with antifreeze as soon as you fire it up or as soon as you put you know, the coolant in it. That's always a bad thing. So I hope this helps. That is magnafluxing. Very, very critical that this is done on all cast iron components. So hopefully this helps you and we'll talk to you soon. Bleep bloop.